All right, starting the hike to Hogsback Mountain. Uh, luckily, I got a little confused, but luckily there's a guy in the parking lot told me this was the right, I was coming back up here, and he told me I was on the right path, and maybe I'll catch up to him. We'll see. Said about 45 minutes. I'll catch up though if I keep stopping to take pictures, which I'll end up doing. When I read the information about the hike, they made it sound like it was semi-challenging, but I didn't think it was that bad at all. It's, it's pretty simple. The easy hike, but there's a lot of tripping hazards. There's a few places where you kind of have to climb a rock face, especially when you get to the peak, but most people should be able to do it. I think that's where I'm headed up there. And the mountain, air quotes, aspect of this is, uh, it's well worth the climb, hike, whatever you would want to call it, because the views really are pretty nice. If you make it up to Marquette, I highly suggest you go ahead and climb up to the top of this. It's really worth it. You'll be glad you did. Glad you didn't. Oh, it's blowing and a little bit cool. Yeah, this is perfect. All right, YouTubers, that's Hogback Mountain. Uh, I want to say I, had, I personally had a great and wonderful day. When I asked that guy if I was on the right trail, I ended up catching up to him, and we hiked up to the top together. He just moved up here a couple years ago, him and his family. And I guess like a lot of people, after their kids went to college up here, they came up to visit a few times and fell in love with it up here. So he told me so much neat stuff about this whole area so informative everybody is so nice I, I told him what I've been telling people lately UP is just like Canada just with without good health care it's clean the people are friendly the nature's beautiful it's a wonderful place so it was awesome to uh, bump into people so when you go RVing or you watch somebody who's solo RVing and you think they're just sitting by themselves all the time, furthest from the truth. You'll also notice he's not on camera. I didn't interview him. My YouTube channel's not about interviewing people. It's about just going out and showing you what you can do on your own. And now, I'll say have a great and wonderful day, and I'm going to go squeeze something else in today. I don't know what it is yet. I'll figure it out. This is Sugarloaf Mountain.
It's raining a little bit. There's sprinkling on the trail. Now this was a very easy hike up to the top. Um, there's some steep sections, but there's staircases. A lot of stairs, but there's staircases. Closing in on the top because the wind is picking up. That's hogs back over there. It's just on. It's a great view up here. In memory of our leader A. Bartlett King, Master Engineer, 32nd Division AEF, died in France October 7th, 1918, erected by Troop No. 1 Marquette, Michigan, Boy Scouts of America.
All right, that was just a quick little video of the two mountains in uh, Marquette, Michigan. Sugarloaf and Hogsback Mountain. Really nice. I hiked them both back to back and it makes for a really nice day. So if you get here, check it out. And make sure to have a great and wonderful day.